Hey guys, and welcome to Cross of the Dutchman. It's an action RP. Well, it's a, not really an RPG, but an action adventure game. So I just want to get into here and we'll get right into the story. It's kind of a folk legend, folk tale. In the 16th century, Fuchsia is torn apart by strife and turmoil. It's probably Frisha. I'm not exactly sure. I will not pronounce things correctly in this Let's Play. You can correct me if you'd like, but <laughs> I don't think it will help much. But you can try if you'd like in the comments to correct me. Several factions are trying to get a hold of la on the land and consolidate their power. Ordinary Frisian people like Dona family just want to be left in peace. That's our protagonist. Look, they look like quite a nice family. But then! Let's see. <laughs> Phew, I'm glad I'm finished. With that, I've worked up quite an appetite. I really hope Wins has prepared something good today. Prologue. Dun -dun. Hello, dearest. Have you finished preparing that field for growing season? I've been breaking my back over it all morning. It's all being taken care of. Well done. I've been busy as well. I'm afraid I haven't got around to preparing a meal yet. Hmm. Anything I can do to help out? Yes, you can, actually. We're all out of meat and fish. So you can head to the market at the crossroads and trade some of our vegetables. Do you really have to? Can you send one of the kids? I haven't seen those rascals all morning. Please just gather some vegetables around the farm and take it to the market. You can use the meme app to find your way around. If you would have turned around, you would have saw the little brat. Also, is she pregnant? She looks kind of fat. Meme map? What are you talking about? Don't make this too complicated, do you? Just make your way back home before sundown. Hmm. <laughs> Alright. See what I can find. I like that she breaks her fourth wall about talking to the map, but he has no clue. Yes, I don't want to talk to you. He's just collecting that vegetable. Hey, little brat, come back here. Did you see Wobble Dad? No? Why are you looking for your sister? They're playing hide and seek. Hide, sh hide, and ye shall, f or seek and ye shall find, sorry. <laughs> nice, good controls. There's two ways, you can click and alt address it, or you can just hold down the mouse. Good adventure games let you just hold down the mouse. Oh, they just let you click. Is she hiding? Is that her hiding space? Daddy! Yes, darling, what's up? Can we play at the other side of the farm? Only if we can keep an eye on you both. Alright, Dad. Okay. You were looking for her, you just ran right by her. Man, that kid must be a dunce. Because, like, he was looking for her. She's playing hide and seek. And he runs right by her. That's not anything to collect? Okay. That's a circle it wanted me to walk into earlier, so. This one, double check. Vegetables. I had to go back to her? I thought I had to go to the market. She probably has to give me some kind of brief interlude thing. Here you go, a whole bunch of vegetables gathered from around the farm. Hey, Mob, but it looks like you forgot to bring the carrots. Go to the ditch and get to the field east of the farm. You're kidding me, right? Off you go. Man, I'm whipped. Totally whipped. No. Not this way. So. I pretty much just did a sound test, so. We're running blind, but I wanted to give you guys kind of my first impression of the game, so. Hmm. Carrots over here? They have quite a big farm here. And those, look, those aren't carrots, those are radishes. There you are, you stupid carrots, about time. It's really starting to feel like an errand boy here. I think they're probably to look more like turnips than carrots or radishes, to be honest, but we got the turnip carrots. Oh my god! You give us all money or we'll take your life. What the heck? Why are you doing this on my property? Shop and hand over the money. Leave my farm right now 
I'll make short work of the both of you. Haha, <laughs> we'll take that challenge any day. Okay. So, just click to attack. Those fools thought they'd come to my place about me. The nerve. Yeah. Poop in their face. Can I teabag or do anything? No. Okay. Can't really teabag them, but we can like walk on their heads and stuff. Okay, let's go check out Wids. Maybe maybe there's some evil doers over there too. Alright, punch him. I'll just be like, Ugh. Uh, uh. Okay, they look like they're okay. You won't believe what just happened. I got ambushed by a bunch of crooks on our own land. Yikes, were you hurt? I'm fine. I'm not sure about those guys, to be honest. Things have become more dangerous ever since Saxon soldiers reached the village of Kithwad and Aram. And now we've run into strangers on the very doorstep. What's next? Who can tell? I'll make sure to keep a watch for Ayo from now on. Perhaps it's best if you take some of our savings with you to the crossroads, just in case we need to pay to stay out of trouble. Because can't hurt, but I'd rather do things a different way. Take. Why do we keep our money out in the middle of, like, the field? Where anybody can get at them. Hand over to one of the saves of the assassin bastard, last thing I do. Like, seriously, that's so bad. Not a very good place to keep your savings, just saying. I'm after the cross now. I'll be back before you know it. Please don't get yourself in any kind of trouble. If you ever get lost, you can use me to find your way back home. Okay. Prologue. I think this is probably the way to go. Have those goons despawned or they're still lying? Okay, good. If they were despawned, it would have been like, that's kind of lame. Can I bake these barrels? I bet this cap belonged to those two crooks. Look, they, you're used to traveling around. And a chest. I bet this cap... Okay. Ah, this is weird. Hey, got their stolen money. That's kind of nice. You think if I had a, f a field right there, that I would have noticed the cap they set up and, like, the animal they butchered. Also, I'm going to town for meat. There's a perfectly good whole pig right there. Like, why would I have to go to town for meat when there's that whole pig? Like, that's plenty right there for all of us to eat. But whatever. I'll go and get, like, one lamb chop or something. Man. Like, why did I have to get my savings? There's money all over this place. Like, look, there's more money over there. But, like I said, not really that interested in bashing all stuff for cash. Probably be a lot of cash in the adventure later on. So let's just advance the story. Tr oh, there's trouble at the crossroads. I don't think I'm supposed to know that yet. Let's go and trade our vegetables here. Afternoon, big guy. Oh, good man. I'd like to bring my vegetables to some of your finest fish. I ah, come to the right place. My fish is the fresh you can get. My friend will be able to trade with you today. Coins only. Are you saying something wrong with my vegetables? I've been growing these on my own land, you know. Oh, I'm sorry, your vegetables look fine. You said I need to pay a lot of taxes that the Saxon shores have come to the village. That's why I can only sell my fish for coins. And these guys are everywhere. Now they even get between me and my mirror. Hey, look, big guy. The soldiers have taken a good portion of my cash bouquet. Because I have not able to pay them. I'll trade with you if you get my fish back. Sounds like I'll be doing all the work, but those hoodlins are getting on my nerves. I'll return your fish. Thanks. Be careful. They're well armed. I'll kill them. Oh, this guy. I think you really trade. Sorry, coins only today. Whatever. Let's go punch those soldiers. Can I rotate the map? I don't know. Sure. Hold it right there, peasant. Let me pass. I have no business with you. Yeah, I'm afraid you do. See, everybody has to pay a toll in order to get to Aram. No matter how big and stupid they are. What did you just call me? Are you deaf, peasant? Do you pay a toll or will we let you pass? What kind of scum would it sort people out of their hard earned money? So I'm not to teach you a lesson. You fool. If you're fixing a fight, you can't win. Oh, you think I can't win? I'll show you a couple punches to the face. 
Looks like I can knock those guys out cold. Better start looking for those fish. And head straight back to the fishmonger. Ah, we'll steal them money too while we're here. Hey, fish. Hold it. Uh oh. What do you think you're doing? Uh, you see. Enough, we saw what you did. Now surrender and get the hell over camp. Probably could fight them. That was close. I guess these guys can't be messed with. I need to come something different. I want to get my hands on those fish. Guess I could ask him for help. I could. I almost had the fish. Hello again, big guy. Were you able to retrieve my fish? Afraid not. I was able to fight off a couple of soldiers, but back right before I knew it. They threw me out of their camp. That's quite troublesome. Should be able to take on even a large group of these Saxons. Perhaps you should go find Swart Gert. He's black from Aram. Sure, he'll something to help you out. Gert, huh? Never heard of him. But I don't think I'll be able to reach him anyway. The soldiers are blocking the entire road. There's no way I'm paying them a toll after what they just happened. So I figured, no worries. Gonna have travels to Curtis World to help shoe horse on the farm. See him come by just this morning. Should be able to catch up with them quickly. Uh, why not? Where did you say I could find this guy? Just east of Kim's work. When you get there, you'll have to ask around. I'm sure people have seen him by. So you were sending me the ass word and said, oh, go to ass word and see this guy. And then you're like, oh, the road's back. Well, he's actually in Kim's word, so you could go there and meet him. It's like, well, why did you tell me to go to Kim's word? Because I would have gone to all the ass words. And you wouldn't have been there. Like, what a jerk. Right, this is the road to Kim's word. Now we're down to find that black. Can I talk to this guy? Oh, good man. You've seen bass bikes come by? I think someone just rode road not too long ago. Sure. On this road? Possibly. Looks like a farm. This guy. I've seen Swart the blacksmith come by. I think he did see a blacksmith by his carriage not too long ago. I think he could still catch up with him. Well, he didn't tell me the direction or anything, but I'll talk to this guy. He seems helpful. Hmm, tall guy, there's beard, piercing eyes, you must be Peridona. But you are, and who might you be? Look like a farm at all. Well spot, my name is Sibrent. I became a hunter after deserting the military. The pay was great, but I could not stand a horrendous thing they had me do. Say you served all ties with those bastards? I swear I'll find you if you wrap me out to those villains. Don't worry, I'm more known to them than you are. Just call on me if you ever need aid against one of those Saxons. Thanks. I don't want to get in trouble in our area. I understand. Just know you can call me if you need help. Well, um... Guessing that's foreshadowing thing that I'm probably gonna call on him, but Ooh, bathroom. No, can't go to the bathroom. So can I get by? Oh wait, you can just walk in. I thought that was a solid barricade, but I guess not. So that's I guess it's good to know about that guy. So that guy was of no help. Is this the blacksmith? Yeah, looks like it. Good day, fellow, what brings you here? Master Gert, maybe you can help me. I was thrown of the soldiers' cap, and I wanted to see those morons lesson. I figured to a kind guy who could get himself into trouble easily. Call me a troublemaker? Easy, fella. I'm just saying that you really start out of the crowd. I'm sure, those soldiers love to pick you. Pick on you? It's not far from the truth. I have marriage, sir. Are you going to help me or not? If we were back in my shop, I would have sold you a sword. Since I'm on the road, all I can give you now is some advice. Why aren't you the disappointing blacksmith? Alright, I'll take advice if it's what it's worth. Actually, my voice is worth 100 pieces of gold. Are you kidding me? It's big, very gold plate advice. Expect anything else from a master blacksmith like me? Do you want to learn how to beat those soldiers or not? I guess no other way. Here's money. I'd be able to be worth it. Listen carefully. What we need to do is learn to control the anger of the earth. Build it up! And I don't know one fierce blow. Let me take a breather during a fight? Sounds pretty dumb, doesn't it? Why don't you give it a try? Keep calm until your stab bar is filled up and release a mighty blow. Stab bar? Crazy my wife. Let's give it a shot. I'm trying to punch those barrels over there. Light punches won't work. So, okay, so my stone bar is building. It's building, it's building. And wah! That was pretty impressive. I tell there's a lot of strength hidden inside those fists. That's awesome! Thanks for the advice. I'll be putting this to good use. Make your way back to Coastal and give him hell. Oh, and just so you know, you ever learned a new move? You know, it's put back to the move you're new. Okay. Yeah, that's actually a pretty good deal. Because I don't like to be like, Rah! It's a pretty good move to know. There's stuff over there, but like I said, 
We can grab later. It seems we don't need big gold and chests and stuff. And we don't need anything else right now. Maybe later. Come back for chests. But like I said, I'm sure we'll get lots of gold on all our adventure. I'm not that worried about it. I'm not the type to look for every single piece of gold as well. I'm like, ah, oh, it's better to continue on adventure. You're back. You found a sword guard? You bet. You better get ready to trade those fish with me. Put an end to this right now. You again. These soldiers you knocked out in a bad way. We won't go easy on you this time, you filthy pet. Come on and get it. Holy crap! Boom! Like I even landed on the fire. Incredible! I've never feel so strong in my life. Guess that old blacksmith's device was worth more than I thought. Last five of those fish, get out of here. We don't need to make any more trouble. The fists are kind of wild, so that ability is really useful. So, yeah, let's get out of here. But yeah, look at that guy. The ragdoll effects in this game are really good. Poor guy's like in the fire. But yeah. Hey! I got fish. So that's pretty good. You're back already? How on earth do you manage that? Take care of those creeps. We'll start wearing some armor. Anything to push people around? It'll be great for your help. Please keep the fish token on my gratitude. Thank you. Might would be happy to see I made a good deal. I can only advise you to keep your head down, big guys. Nice. Those soldiers are back. In far greater numbers, I'm afraid. Let them come. <laughs> I like this guy. Like... He has the strength to pack up his back of his words, and he's not afraid of nothing. Hopefully his wife can hold his own, though, because she's probably going to be the target next. We'll head back, talk to our wife, and then we'll see what's happening next. Oh good, that's open now. There you go. Oh, love. I was able to get some nice fish for free. Are you sure fish haven't gone bad? The trader would give you his products away without asking for something in return. Well, a bunch of soldiers met the fishmonger. I helped them out and I got the fish no charge. Are you out of your mind, Pierre? What do you think will happen now? Next thing you know, the soldiers will come to our house. You can't put our family in danger like this. Don't you worry about it. I'll be here to protect you. That's chapter two, one complete. Pierre, Rince, and their children are enjoying a hard-earned meal of vegetables and fish. And suddenly... The evening is suddenly disturbed by a loud knock on the door. When Pierre goes to check the motion, he finds John the farmer on the doorstep. His face pale as a sheet and he's completely out of breath. Soldiers are coming? Pierre, there you are. You must help me right away. Calm down, man. What's wrong? Those bastards have raided our farm. The entire crossroads is swarming with them. You need to help me right now. These guys don't know when to quit, do they? Don't you worry. I'll help you out. But we'll have to do chapter two, or chapter three, rather, in the next episode, guys. So thanks for coming out for more Cross of the Dutchman, and we'll be back in the next episode for more. Thanks, guys. Later. <laughs>